Okay, so now we want to find out where Google Calendar is on Google Classroom. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to do my split screen. Don't forget, you can double tap up here. Some of you guys have it open from the last window. So you might have to double tap to get this to come down. Okay, so like a, like double tap. All right, then I'm going to move it all the way to the side to that white box appears. And I'm going to open up a new browser and I'm going to grab that and move it all the way until it appears again. But some of you guys already had this from last time. And you can grab down here and scroll over. Okay, so I'm on number four. So um, I need to open up Google Classroom. So I'm going to click the apps. Now that we have arranged it, we're on Google Classroom fast. And uh, you should already be on your class. So I clicked it. I'm on my class now. And remember, the stream is the first thing you see. Okay. Um, so the Google Calendar isn't on the stream. We're going to go to the classwork section. Remember, I like to call this the classwork page. So go ahead and click that. And we're going to write that. So where is the Google Calendar located? We're going to put it is located on Google Classroom on the classwork page. Remember, I'm just calling it the classwork page. It's also in your Google Apps. If you want, you can move that up to have your calendar to access it really easy, okay? Now it says, what is the purpose of the Google Calendar? So the reason why it's so important, and here it is right here, Google Calendar, again on the classwork page, is if you click it, it tells you all your assignments that you have due for that week in all of your Google Classroom. Um, all the Google Classrooms that you're in, if they have the date posted. So I'll have my due dates posted. So you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger. So I'm gonna go up to the button right here and I'm gonna click this to maximize it so we can really look at this calendar, okay? So you can see right here that this is today, all right? So I have the button today selected and I can see it's Tuesday because it's the blue part right here. And you can see that on Thursday, uh-oh, I have two assignments due. And you can see that this color right here is from a different class, these colors, okay? And then these colors right here, the green color is a different class as well. So you can see since I have two greens, that's one class right there. And then I have this other kind of greenish color, that's my other class. So I can see again that on Thursday, I have two assignments due from two different classes. And then on Friday, I have, you can see three assignments due one from this class and two from this class. And what's really nice about your Google Calendar is you can also click on it, okay? On these assignments and it'll show you like, oh, here's the information on what's due. You can click on that and it will pull up right here the assignment in your case you forget. Like, oh, I forget which is this assignment. And if your teacher attached this right here, you can actually click on that, okay? Anyways, but it's really nice. You can see if you've turned it in and stuff. And anyways, it says right here that it's a sign but it's not done yet because it still shows that I can add it, okay, or I can create it and put it here, all right? Because if it's done, this button wouldn't be here. It wouldn't say mark as done, like, okay? All right, so anyway, so I'm gonna exit out of this, but I can do that for any of these assignments. I can click on them and I can click on this. It even tells me what period or what subject if your teacher wrote that. And anyway, so I can click on it again and be like, oh, okay, I got this due. Oh, look, I have it right here, okay? You can see it's already kind of on this. I could click on it to see if it's done. And you can see this one has already been submitted because it says has it says unsubmit right here. But anyway, so the Google Calendar is really nice because it shows you all your assignments. And I could even click up here. If you click this, it will show you next week. So you can be like, oh, look, on Monday, I have that English paper due. Oh, on Wednesday, look right here. Oh, it's someone's birthday. That's my husband's birthday. That's what's showing it. But look right here, I have this other assignment due. So that's really nice if your teacher puts due dates on it, okay? I'm gonna go back to the previous week. And then again, you can see on today, I don't have anything due, okay? But you still need to check with your, your teacher in case they don't put the due dates on it. All right, so anyways, Google Calendar is great. And so we're gonna go back, I'm gonna exit out of this and we're gonna write that on our worksheet, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of move this to the side. So what is the purpose of Google Calendar? So what does it do? So it shows us the due dates for our assignments for our Google classes. Okay, so that's what it does. So it shows us the due dates for our assignments for our Google classes. You could you saw that it was able to show you for several classes, but again, that's only if your teacher puts a due date. If your teacher doesn't put a due date, you might have to read a, uh, their agenda to find out, okay? All right, we're done for number four.